All right guys, today we're going to talk about the Milwaukee M12 compact tire inflator and what all can you do with it, how good of a price point is it at, and we're gonna show you how accurate this thing really is. So stay tuned. So the M12 uh, Milwaukee tire inflator here has been very, very good to me. I love how small and actual compact it is, how lightweight it is. This thing comes in without a battery in it, an M12 battery at three pounds, two ounces. So very lightweight. Uh, it is compatible with any M12 battery, it says. So you can use the compact or if you have the longer one that has, you know, kind of like a, M18 would be uh, bottom on it. You can still use that on it as well. But uh, if you use the compact small battery, then your weight goes up, of course, and you're looking at three pounds, nine ounces, right at three pounds, nine ounces anyway. Uh, so still very lightweight. One of the things I really like about this is all you do is hit this button right here to turn it on. Uh, it automatically has an, a light elimination on it. So you press the button up, press it back to do your setting. If you're setting a higher PSI, you can hold the plus button and it'll just start flowing in increments for you. When you're ready to air your tire up, simply just press the button, it airs it up. When it gets to that PSI you've got recommended on there, it shuts it off. So one side tells you what your PSI is at on your tire, which we'll show you. And one side tells you uh, what it's airing up to as it's airing up your tire. So uh, this thing has a lot of great features and some of them we're gonna talk about is the rubber feet on the bottom. Um, the anti-vibration feet for no, no tool movement when it's running. So when it's vibrating, you ain't gotta worry about it flying all over the place. Uh, another great thing they did was, you know, real handy here. Everything's right here in the back. You've got your needles and stuff to air up basketballs, such. But uh, so and this thing's very easy to put back on, of course, and it just sits in there and you ain't got to worry about it. So let's show you this thing in action, tell you uh, the price point on this and go over some more things about it and features. So let's show you some action footage. All right guys, so this is pretty simple here. All you do is take this, unhook it. This just screws on to your valve stem. So we're gonna screw this onto our valve stem here. Now you can shut this on or you can turn this off. It don't matter. Wait till you turn it on. So we're at 10 PSI. This is what our tire is at, is 10 PSI, which is what we showed you it was at. So this is our target PSI. Now our target PSI, we want it to be at 35 PSI is what this tire. So if I press it one time, it goes up in increments of one. If I hold it down, it's gonna go up in increments of five. We want 35 PSI as our target. We're at 10 PSI. This is our battery level. Now to start, all you do is press this button and we're gonna time this and see how long it takes to go from 10 to 35 PSI. So we're gonna press these at the same time and see how long it takes to do this. All right, so here we go, ready? One, two, three, go. seconds off from our hitting the button 
But if you notice, to go from, with this little two amp hour battery, we went from a full charged battery to half a battery, from going to 10 to uh, 35 PSI. And we're gonna say it took two minutes and 48 seconds, which actually it was probably more around two minutes, 45, 46 seconds. So definitely not bad to air up a tire from 10 PSI all the way up to 35 PSI. Now this thing does do all the way up if we wanted to, which we're not going to, but we're gonna show you here, this will go all the way from zero PSI all the way up to 120 PSI is the most it will do. So anything over 120 PSI, then this probably ain't gonna work for you, but uh, there's not very many things out there that take over 120 PSI. So let's get into more talking about this. So now we're gonna show you how accurate this is. As you know, we set it to 35 according to this. I have a good, very good digital uh, tire gauge here. So we're going to turn it on, plug it in here and see if it is literally at 35 like it should be. <clears throat> and we're actually right at about 35.2. So that is really not gonna matter. I would say that's pretty accurate to be within two tenths. Uh, you know, the only complaint I have with this thing is probably the battery life of it. So we'll talk about that, but 35.2. All right guys, so when it comes to the Milwaukee compact tire inflator, the one thing that I really do not like about it is how fast it uses one of these little 2.0 batteries. Um, and you know, looking at how much the cost of these batteries are, you get the inflator itself for 69 bucks. Then if you don't have any of these batteries, you uh, can buy one of these at Home Depot. I think they're around 50 bucks for one. And that's just the 2.0. So you can get the higher M12s, but they're gonna cost you more money. So by the time you're done with this, uh, if you're using it for every now and then, for a car tire, as you noticed, it used literally a full battery charged down to a half a battery. So for using it for my mowers and things like that, this thing really does come in handy because I'm, I'm only using five PSI, six PSI, if that. Um, and that's for all my tires. I use it to air up my trailer tires, uh, you know, which is only another probably five or six PSI that they, they go low over time from just setting. But, uh, if you've got these batteries and you've got them in the bigger size, the bigger M12s, this thing may work real well for you. But my one complaint is I don't have the bigger M12s and uh, I bought this with my own money to do a review for y'all because I do own the DeWalt one as well. So I wanted to show y'all the differences between the two, which will be in another video. But for what you get for this thing, uh, it really is a good deal. I wish for 69 bucks that they actually you know, would throw in a two amp hour battery with it and just make it a kit. And uh, you know, it'd be great. It'd be a great buy in my personal opinion. You know, hey, you get what you pay for. When it comes to Milwaukee, of course they don't let down. You've got 25 PSI we aired up and you were looking at, you know, under three minutes, which definitely ain't bad coming from this little battery right here. So guys, thanks for watching. Go check it out. Uh, you can find it at Home Depot, 69 bucks if you're looking for one. If not, wait for the review on the DeWalt and see if it may be for you. So we'll see you in the next one.